<clears throat> All right, what to do, YouTube? This is the J Rex speaking. I just wanted to um, just do like a little video on men going their own way. Do a little update on it. I haven't really done any uh, videos on MGTOW in a while or the movement, but uh, mm -hmm. thought I'd just throw in some more pointers to help further encourage men to not you know, go into the fucked up dating scene right now, because that shit all fucked up right now, it, it is over, it's done, son, so, I want to give you reasons why men should avoid dating, why men should avoid marriage, why men should just avoid committing to just woman, just at all, so, first reason, first reason why men should, uh, avoid dating women is because one they only want you for your money I I can't believe it took me until I can't believe it took me until like 2013 to finally figure this out that women were only after you for your money but when I when I compare this new discovered idea to what has happened to me in the past, how women treated me in the past, it all makes sense. It all correlates with the data that I've discovered. Now, I don't know if you all know this. I mean, you can go ahead and look it up in Wikipedia. I I should pull up the link to it, but uh, in Wikipedia, they, they explain to you how like researchers conducted what women are looking for in a potential mate. And uh, typically, what they look for in a potential mate is they're looking for a man with status. So, now this explains the whole bad boy ideology that a lot of people put out on YouTube and the internet as well. Why are women attracted to the bad boy? Well, the reason why women are attracted to the bad boy is because about it's all about status. Bad boys are... They are generally considered to be the cool person. They are generally considered the the popular people. The what's cool, what's what's the, you know what's it, what's the new thing. They are considered cool, and that is the whole reason why women were going for these types of men, especially in high school. Um, in high school, they always go for the cool guys because cool guys have a high social status supposedly, and women look for a man with status. Now, generally, nerds, nerds and geeks, or the nice guys, they are not as high up on the social ladder as cool guys. So, you know, that's the whole reason why women were going for those kind of guys, cool guys. Uh, but then I noticed when I went into, after I got out of high school and into the corporate world, the it, it changed. It changed. Now, women were looking, I mean, the cool thing still played a part. But also, a new dynamic came in now. Now that people had jobs, and women now were getting out of the house, and now they had to pay for rent and all that shit. I mean, a whole new dynamic was coming into play. Now, now women are looking for somebody with uh, financial wealth. You know, um, they're looking for somebody who is generally high up on the financial status, the wealth status. So. Generally, women will, you know, want men who have jobs, have a paycheck coming in. The women generally want men that are willing to fork over loads of cash into them, you know. And if you're a poor man, or if you don't have a job, you don't have money, your chances of getting with a woman are reduced considerably lower. So, you know, that's, that's what I'm getting at. And... What I'm what I'm trying to get at is these relationships, they're fake. They're all fake. That is what I learned. It's fake. The moment you lose that money, the moment that you are not cool anymore, you know, the moment you don't fit any of these two categories, the woman will leave you, bail on your ass, and find another man who can fit those ladders, who is fit the man that is higher up on the cool ladder, social ladder, or the financial ladder. They will lead you for some, leave you for something better. Now that, 
it is a terrible relationship to get into. And I'm, you got to think to yourself, would you want to get into a, relate, a relationship knowing that this woman is only interested in your assets, your money, or your popularity status? They're only, they're only doing this, they're only interested in dating you to use you for your assets, for, for their own benefit. Whether it's to help boost up their own popularity or to boost up their own financial status, it's they're just doing it for themselves. They could care less about you. That that's really you gotta you know it's just terrible, man. Realizing that it's just terrible. And ever since I discovered this stuff, I don't mess with women anymore. I don't mess with them anymore because I know deep down what they are truly looking for, and they are just looking basically for. A man to use up they're looking for a man to use you know they could give a damn about you the moment that you don't have money the moment you don't have status the moment you don't have any of this they are going to throw you away and go to another man that can satisfy their their uses you know their satisfy their their social ladder needs or whatever so that's all I want to say and and marriage you gotta think about marriage oh that's a whole new dynamic man <laughs> I gotta say I mean I mean I'm, I might sound like I'm, I'm bragging here but I mean <laughs> be, I think honestly because I have not allowed to myself to get committed to another woman because I have not allowed that I think that's the reason why I'm pretty wealthy right now <laughs> I got about you know 20 grand saved up in the bank and <laughs> I mean, that's quite a lot of money, and I honestly think that I got to that point because I don't mess with women. I don't, I don't try dating women. I don't buy them Gucci bags. I don't buy them a new iPad. I don't buy them a new car. I don't buy them a new goddamn house. I don't buy them that new, you know, that new bumpy vibrating dildo that they always wanted to shove up their ass with. You know, it's, it's like made out of gold and platinum and shit. You know, I'm not buying them any of that stuff anymore, you know, and I think that's why I've considerably grown my wealth because of that. So, <clears throat> that's all I wanted to say, guys. So, I mean, the choice is yours. You can try to pursue these women. You can try and go ahead and get into a relationship with these women, but all in all, these women, once they have consumed you, once they have used you up, you will be discarded. Once they find something better, they will discard you for something better. <laughs> There's so many videos that prove this. Um, the the Ferrari video, <laughs> it was astounding. But the Ferrari video, this guy was balling, balling, thugging. He had like a brand new Ferrari. It was like 2013 brand new Ferrari. This guy was balling, thugging, and this guy was literally getting women to leave their boyfriend for this man with the Ferrari, you know? Like, these women didn't give a damn. They straight up just left their boyfriends for this guy with the Ferrari. Why? Because the Ferrari was a sign of wealth. So, it's terrible. So, I know what these women are capable of. I know I'm getting into a fake relationship. And I just, knowing this, I can't allow myself to date these women, knowing how artificial everything is, you know. <clears throat> I I much rather find somebody who accepts me for who I am, somebody that I can form a connection with, truly form a connection with, and and I don't have to worry about, oh, the moment I the moment I lose my money, she's gonna leave me. Or um, the moment I stop acting cool and, you know, start showing my weird real self the moment I don't do this stuff anymore, the moment she she will leave me, I don't have to worry about that. I can just be true, be myself, and just allow myself to connect this woman, connect with this woman without fear of her like threatening to leave me and shit. So, and I know there are a couple women out. I'm gonna stress this very strongly. I don't say this to every woman because I know there's gonna be some woman on here that's gonna type. Oh my god, not every girl is like this. You think we're all gold diggers? You think we're all shallow? No, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I'm talking 
to the gold diggers, the actual gold diggers, okay? I I know there are some good women out there. I know this because I've met a couple good American women or westernized women. Oh, shit, it's even ha- I'll just say woman. It's happening to women. It's happening to all women in general, but um yes, I've met a couple good women and um and they truly did like me for who I was. I wasn't rich, I wasn't cool, I was a nerd, I had no money, I was broke as shit, and they still accepted me for who I was. And that's great. And I was able to form a relationship with those people. Uh, I was able to form something with them, build something with them, without worryment of her abandoning me once I stopped, uh, f- stopped fitting her needs for consumerment. But I was... I was able to build everlasting relationships with those types of people, you know, that were true. So, that's all I gotta say. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say about 90% of women, especially here in America, are like that. 90% of them are like that. Shallow gold diggers. Status-seeking gold diggers. And I would highly implore men to just not mess with this and go the herbivore men route, you know, start watching... Instead of messing with women, if you need if you need to get your rocks off, go watch some porn or beat your meat off to some hentai, some tentacle hentai porn or something, or uh, get one of those fleshlights and you know get busy, you know, <laughs> get busy riding the pony or whatever you gotta do, or <laughs> spend time with Billy Joe, or hell, get a virtual dating simulator, whatever you gotta do so you make sure you don't fuck up your life by messing with these women. So, that's all I gotta say. And, um, yes. Just, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta focus our priorities priorities here, you know? Like, you know, you're gonna put all this money into this girl. You're gonna, le- she's gonna leave you, and you're gonna be left with virtually nothing. She's gonna take all your money, jack your ass, broke your ass, and you're gonna be some broke-ass motherfucker living in a fucking Toshiba cardboard box in the fucking, the, some random uh, Brooker Avenue alleyway in the back of some (laughs) prostitute house or some shit. (laughs) Sucking on penises and (laughs) it's like selling crack to make some money. (laughs) So, that's all I gotta say. Just, I'm telling you this because I just want to help I just want to help, you know, the fellow men, my fellow men out, save them from fucking themselves over, because I've known a lot of men, oh, so many men, who have dated women, married women, and lost, oh, so much of their assets, they lost their money, they lost their car, they lost their kids, they lost their house, and they, the woman basically left them with nothing, and these men were broke. Everything they worked so hard for, strived so hard for, they lost it all. And to the woman. And I just want to, I just want to give this warning out to men. And hopefully maybe save some lives. You know, and prevent more disaster from happening. So, it's time we men took a stand against this. And we didn't put up with their bullshit anymore. Men going their own way. Yeah! Herbivore man movement. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. Woohoo. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Keep the movement going. Keep the idea strong. Support the movement. Yeah, boy. Roo, 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 roo.